Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to another video. So I wanted to take y'all behind the scenes on a branding shoot that I did with my wife. So the reason behind this shoot was we were just trying to get some content for social media. And I just think branding photos are a must. If you're serious about your business, you need branding photos. So you could, like I was saying, you could use uh, these photos for content on social media. And you definitely want to show yourself um, and not just kind of like hide behind your photos. People want to see you and know more about you and you can incorporate these branding photos. And plus, the biggest thing you could use these for your website, which is what we're going to do. We got some headshots and just uh, different look so the first thing i want to talk about is uh as you can see we are shooting in shade so as a photographer especially if you shoot a lot of outdoor portraits and you're shooting in harsh light like for this uh shoot we were shooting at noon that light can be very harsh um so shade is your best friend as a photographer especially if you just struggle with lighting in general you cannot go wrong would just put your subject in shade. As you can see, we don't have harsh light right here, so it's not even a worry. We just have to worry about, uh, you know, just getting that correct exposure and the right poses and getting a shot. So if you struggle with lighting, shade is your best friend. All right, so we moved on to a different spot just to get some different looks. So I wanna talk about locations, and this is very important because I feel like a location can make or break your photos. Like an ugly location, it's just not gonna work. That looks bad and it has a lot of distracting elements. And you, you can see in the video, that's what I'm talking about, is just being aware of your surroundings and your composition and how you're framing your shot. You could see I had that pile of stuff to the right, which that would have ruined the photo. So you need to be aware of stuff like that. So I'll, intentionally, I was trying to keep that out of my frame. You know, oftentimes when you see a big location, you may see stuff like that and see signs and power lines and you're like oh i'm not shooting there it just it's too many distracting elements it looks bad but what i like to do is i don't look at the whole location i just look for small areas within that big location like i did right there and you could find some really nice spots so just make sure you actually scout the location out and look around because you could find some really cool areas like this one right here the one previously just sitting her down you know these are just small spots but you can get exactly what you need by just looking around for these small areas okay so moving on to our last spot that we shot at so as you can see here you can see the sun beaming in from the back so i did this intentionally and this is a way that i really like to shoot portraits so i like to shoot backlit so backlit is pretty much where the sun is lighting the subject from the back now something that i do is i'll have the sun hitting the model or the client directly but you don't see this here because kimbo's in the shade but you can see that light is hitting those trees and leaves in the background it creates a nice glow and it's really going to make those colors pop in the back so like i said sometimes i'll shoot with the sun directly on the subject you know as a rim light on the back of her head to give her some separation or i like when that sun is kind of falling off and hitting those trees and stuff in the background because it could really uh just make your portraits look way better and just really make those colors pop and jump out when you do that with using off camera flash you can really get some dynamic and just moody and just just photos that really pop and look great so i really love that combination so when you're shooting outside really pay attention to light like light is another thing that's going to make or break your photos pay attention to the way you position your clients you know a mistake that i made when i first started is i would have harsh light um just on certain spots of my subject so it wasn't a nice even light so just pay attention to how you position them and how that sun is kind of hitting your subject because that's really gonna make the difference between good photos and just photos that don't look good at all if you want to learn more about flash photography, I have an off camera flash series on my channel where I cover everything about off camera flash. So I'm going to link that in the card up top. So make sure you check out those videos. I appreciate you for watching. Be sure to hit that like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. I post photography tips and tutorials every single week. I will see you in my next video. Peace.